a new ban list went into effect on March 1st, 2011. Goyo Guardian, Cold Wave, and Mass Driver were now banned from competitive tournament play. Blackwing, Kalut the Moonshadow, Dandelion, Honest, Book of Moon, and Gateway of the Six were all now limited to one copy each. Archlord Christia, Card Trooper, Debris Dragon, Spirit Reaper, Megamorph, Overload Fusion, Royal Tribute, Icarus Attack, and Solemn Warning were all now semi-limited to two copies per deck. And finally, Chaos Sorcerer, Demise, King of Armageddon, Duloran, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier, Snipe Hunter, Gold Sarcophagus, Skill Drain, and Ultimate Offering were all now unlimited to three copies. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, that was an interesting set. We really outskilled Alex, the better duelist one, etc., etc. And now we are out of the shirt of shame for another week. Now, in March of 2011, a new ban list was released, and this list took a huge hit at every single deck that was popular in the metagame. Six Samurai lost Gateway. It was put to one. Plant Synchro's Dandelion was shaved down to a single copy. Gravekeepers' Royal Tribute was semi-limited. And, unfortunately, Kalute the Moon Shadow finally went to one. Rest in peace, double collude for game. You will not be missed. As a result, in March and April of 2011, the metagame is in flux. Most of these decks are a lot less powerful than they were in previous iterations, and though support continues to trickle out for decks like Six Samurai, which now have a red and blue infinite loop, it's not nearly as consistent or powerful as the deck that you saw in the last episode. For these two months, all of the decks on the wheel have topped multiple times, and there's a bunch of fun one-ofs as well that we'll explore when we get to History of Jank. Now, we have shown off every single deck on this wheel already. Uh, they're all slightly different this time around. Six Samurai has Red Blue, Gladiator Beast has a couple of new releases, Plant Synchro has fewer Dandelions, Chaos has additional copies of Chaos Sorcerer, Gravekeeper, of course, is functionally the same deck. Hero is now playing Miracle Fusion alongside Gemini Spark. Fish OTK is a lot more robust than the previous time we took a look at it, and X Saber has changed considerably as well. We figured we'd give you one episode like this until May of 2011 when a single release throws the format into flux once again. I'll let you speculate as to what that is. We have three spins because we won the last one and I am rolling for fish OTK specifically. Nope. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't hate playing Gladiator Beast. And that was Six Sam, ladies and gentlemen. I have no words for how that last episode played out. I never got to experience Six Sam in that way before. I'm used to the good old Six Sam of the old, of the just original Six Sam monsters that like maybe got to swarm the field with like a great Shogun Sheehan. That was on another level. Holy shit. That was like a modern Yu-Gi-Oh deck. But we're moving on. We are now into March and April of 2011. A new ban list is into effect. Gateway of the Six is limited. Thank fucking God for that. And we actually have a bit of a diverse format here. All of the decks you see before you on the wheel actually managed to top it this time. And so Joseph and I figured it was a great opportunity opportunity to bring the wheel back because you've actually seen most of if not all of these decks at this point and so we thought it'd be fun to just randomize it and if we were going to a tournament we could be playing any one of these so we've only got two spins because we did lose the prior episode let's go ahead and do our first spin here and see what we're going to get Oh, this could be a way to get vengeance. Oh, do we do it? We just did six Sam in the last episode. Gateway is at one now, though, so the deck isn't going to be as good, is it? I think we do it. So here's the list. This is Gary Garcia's top 16 deck list from YCS Anaheim, and it's Gladiator Beast. 
Now, one thing that we haven't really communicated to viewers is that while we might not play every deck, every format, a lot of the things that you have seen us play have been in the background almost the entire time. Black Wings has been good at this point for about eight months. Gladiator Beast has been good pretty much since we put it down. In some form or another, these decks have hung on. It was expected that this was the end of Gladiator Beast's lifespan, however. At YCS Charlotte, it had a terrible showing, absolutely decimated by a field much more powerful than itself. For Gary, this was more than just a test of his abilities, it was fanning the flames of the dying embers of the Gladiator Beast archetype. And he did very well. Top 16 is nothing to shake a stick at, and it's not hard to see why. This deck is extremely tuned and extremely consistent. Let me walk you through the individual cards. We've got one Effect Veiler, one Best Yari, unfortunately the best you could do, two Darius, two Akest, two Hoplomus, two, three Laquari, two Mermillo. This was not standard, but in fact, uh, Gary's decision to play it was absolutely critical in his success. One Retiari. This card has not seen a lot of play by us, but it's functionally DD Crow. Double Thunder King Ryo. A significant portion of the field just loses to this card. Book of Moon, Dark Hole, Enemy Controller, Forbidden Lance, Giant Trunade, Double Respite. This is a very strange card. It's Moray of Greed, but for Gladiator Beasts. Three Proving Ground, one Reborn, Double MST, one Smash double dim prison three war chariot was so absolutely good if a single effect monsters effect could take down your archetype one mirror force one seven tools one solemn judgment two warning again the max one torrential tribute and one trap stun this is so you could force through stuff like a geyserus knowing your opponent had solemns set in the side we've got kinetic soldier one guess as to why that's in there effect veiler uh retiari double trap eater double dim fizz econ nobleman chain disappearance oppression shad imp and starlight road in the extra, we've got Khmer Tech Fortress Dragon. Technically, you can make this using only your opponent's monsters, but doesn't happen very often. Triple Geyserus, Double Hair, Klinos. We've got Cataster, Black Rose Dragon, Brianak, Colossal Fighter, Android, Mistworm, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Scrap Archfiend, and Stardust. That's the deck. Extremely heads up, extremely tuned, and I'm extremely happy to be playing it. It's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as much as I want to play this deck just because I have the opportunity to get my revenge on Joseph for last episode, I do also feel from a historical perspective perspective, it's good to show the evolution of this deck. Now, obviously, it's still going to look primarily the same, but there are some key differences here that I do want to discuss. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's duel. This was actually a top 16 list from April of 2011. There was a first place list from March of 2011, but I wanted to actually go a bit later because the meta had more evolved by this point. And so this is more fine tuned for that. And you can see that in some of the card choices here. We slim down on some of the fat like Anishi, which is a bit of like a win more sort of card, at least in my opinion. And we're kind of just playing just straight up everything we want to just have all gas all the time. So we've got the double Grandmaster, just a fantastic card to throw out onto the field. We've got one copy of hand. I like the hand just because it is removal and it could come up in niche situations. We also have three copies of Kagamusha, three copies of Kaigeki. Kaigeki into Kagamusha is obviously the God combo because then you're able to go into Shien and we're off to the races. We've also got three keys on as well. Being able to swarm the field with this is amazing. And the 2100 attack is surprisingly relevant. And this deck's also playing one copy of the Six Samurai Yaichi. This is one of the OG Six Sams, and this card is actually pretty good. This I'll play previously as well. If you control another Six Sam, you can actually target a set card and destroy it. Yaichi can't attack the turn that you do this, but honestly, that doesn't matter all that much because you're able to clear the way of like a solemn warning, a solemn judgment, or a card that's just going to get in your way from progressing with your plays. It's also level three, which you can tune with Kagamusha to go into a Shien, so it just does have like incidental synergies there. I do like Yaichi in here for that reason, so I definitely feel like it deserves a slot. That's it for the monsters though. It's only 13, but honestly, with how much consistency we have in this deck, that's all you need. Then for the spells, Book of Moon, the newly limited gateway of the six, a giant true nade, a monster reborn, double MST, one reinforcement of the army, triple she and smoke signal. What's nice about this is that this can also search Yaichi or hand depending on the situation. So you have this nice little toolbox that you can access with she and smoke signal, and we don't even have elder yet. We don't even have Dojo yet. Those cards come out later, and that's going to make this deck even better than it is now. We still have Triple Six Sam United, aka Six Sam Pot of Greed. Triple Upstart Goblin, because if we can just get to our combo, we're probably going to win. And then the Traps. Triple Double Edge Sword Technique. I don't know why all these decks weren't maxing out on this card, because this is basically Soul Charge for the archetype. The fact that you just basically get to get two materials to go into a Shien, this card is crazy, and I'm so happy 
that this deck is playing three of it. Two Musakani Magatama just to be able to stop things that would destroy any of our cards. We have a Royal Oppression, double seven tools of the bandit. I really like this tech here as well because being able to negate at spell speed three, something like a warning or a judgment for your Shien summons to make sure that those are going to stick. I like that you have these extra options here. It's effectively like playing another few copies of judgment, except you're only able to stop traps, but there are a lot of trap cards that can really be a thorn in your side. So I think the seven tools tech here is very strong. And then of course, judgment and double warning because these are some of the best traps of the format. The extra deck is a bunch of monsters you are familiar with up until this point. Of course, we have the triple Shien because we want to max out on the best card in our deck. And then for the side deck, we have a cyber dragon in here. This card's pretty okay going second. We also have the fortress dragon for, you know, those pesky machine based matchups. Two copies of puppet plant. This card's very funny. Discard this card, then target a warrior or spellcaster monster your opponent controls. Take control of it until the end phase. Uh, you could just use this to straight up take your opponent's Shien, so that's very funny. So if you're playing the mirror, this card could actually come up. A snowman eater for removal. A dark hole. Surprised that this isn't in the main board, but honestly, you're just kind of wanting to play as many combo pieces as possible. So I kind of see the argument for side decking and putting it in when you know you're going second. Double nobleman of cross out for a similar reason. Double bottomless trap hole. Double chain disappearance. Double dimensional prison and double dust tornado. This is as clean cut as it gets, and I am super hyped to be able to take Joseph on with this and claim our revenge and get out of this ridiculous shirt. So guys, let's not make you wait any longer. Can't wait to see what Joseph's bringing. It's probably fish OTK, let's be honest, but let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Joseph, I'm actually a bit excited for this episode. I It's the first time we've used the wheel in, what, like a month? We I haven't feel like. used the wheel in a while. We've just had so much we wanted to show off. It's nice to have one yeah. where we actually have different decks to pick from. And it's fun that I think you and I are probably excited to play most of these decks. Oh, yeah. I don't really feel like there's a bad pick on this wheel. Uh, I mean, if, if, if I have I mean, to sit through another plant synchro game, I am going to uh, <laughs> leave the series. But other than that, yeah, everything here looks really fun. I think this will be a good time. And uh, I'm just ready to dive in, honestly. I think there's really no better way to kick things off. It's crazy that we're already like midway, approaching midway 2011, and that's where we get reborn Tengu. Like God. that's scary, right? There it is. But that's gonna we'll absolutely the fans something to look forward everything. to for sure. So let's go ahead and shout out the patron. It is Gentleman Alien. Thank you for the support. And buddy, you got the number up for me? I do. Okay, I'm gonna go with odd. That's what my intuition is telling me. Yep, you are correct. It's the number of colutes that are currently legal. Oh, perfect. <laughs> One. Uh, I'm very sad that the new March 2011 ban list. Rest in peace, King. We will uh, see you again in the near future when you are completely irrelevant. I will go first, though. Good luck, buddy. All it's right. It's going to be a fun one. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. wow. Uh, Ooh, I have missed play in this deck. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, this is weird uh all right i'll go to main one now i must think how do we play this actually what are you looking at your extra deck for what on earth could you be thinking about doing turn one in this format oh yeah it's not like any decks are just completely incapable of using the extra deck turn one I mean, you can use the extra deck i'm just asking oh you didn't roll six sam did you are you about to give me a taste of my own medicine uh we'll see buddy we'll see with this hand i'm not exactly sure if that's going to be the case i I think I'm just going to set one and pass. Go ahead. <laughs> Anything in standby. Oh, you're good. All right, let's uh, get going. I am going to MST your set card. Uh, okay. It is seven tools of the bandit. Ah, damn it. Okay, I should have let it go. And behold. Oh, running back the glads. Okay, sure. I am so upset that I was not able to roll fish OTK, but I will settle for the Laquari direct. Sure, I'll take the 18. You're going to tag out? If you will allow it. You're good. I don't got anything else. Well, I can't nab Laquari here. That's uh, usually what I would want to end on. Uh, you don't have any Right, monsters. it's like that seems like the natural play, but you can't do it, unfortunately. <laughs> God, if only Thunder King Ryo was a Gladiator Beast. All right, uh, I'm going to go into Gladiator Beast Hoplomus. And, okay, uh, so he's going to be buffed, 24. 24. Uh, he's I'm a big boy. One card, and you are good to go. All right, it's probably good enough. That's probably what I need. Okay, I am going to activate Reinforcement of the Army. No response. Okay, uh, buddy, you guessed it. We're bringing Let's the six go. Sam's. <laughs> okay. All right. I had to try to get my redemption here, and uh, my hand is awkward, and I, I, maybe it's not awkward, and I just don't know how to play this deck, which is more likely the case, but I top deck gateway, so hopefully that's going to get me out God. of it. <laughs> the newly limited gateway, yeah, I should nice say. Nice job, dude. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to normal Kaigeki. Show me the warning. I don't have a warning. Okay. Uh, I'm going to special summon. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, you, you got something. You got something. Are you Excuse declaring me. the effect of Kaigeki? Okay, yes. I will declare the effect of Kaigeki. All right, we'll oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, uh, we tried. So I do still get my counters on this gateway, which is pretty nice. Bailering Kaigeki. Okay. I guess I could have done this differently then. I will go ahead and run out Grandmaster. Ah, damn it. Yeah, that's fine. It's an okay card. Uh, put some more counters on the gateway, which is pretty good. Yep. I don't know like how all in I want to go here. Hoplomis is nice because he's 24. I'd have to like remove counters if I wanted to do something with it here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you have like Waboku, that's sort of like a waste of counters. And then you can just tag out. So I don't know like how all in I want to go here. Uh, let's go ahead and use a couple counters. I'm going to attempt to buff the Grandmaster. No response to that. Okay. I'm going to special summon Kizan. Uh, no response to that. Okay. And then I will go ahead and use all the counters. Am I dead here? You know, you've got a back row, so I don't think you're dead here. <laughs> I wish you were. I was going to grab another Kaigeki. Sure. And we'll go to battle. I'll try to swing. Show me the Woboku. I don't have it. So I'll take oh. 21. Uh, 17 plus 18. 17. So 35. Oh, actually 21 because right. the Kizan's buffed because I have two other six Sams. So 38 in total. Uh, second main, I'm just going to pass. Don't much much else going on. All right, stand by main. All right, let's see it. Uh, I'm going to activate Gladiator Proving Ground. Rhoda, sure. Uh, we will grab a Laquari. Seems pretty good. Uh, we are going to normal summon a Gladiator Beast Laquari. Uh, we'll go to combat. I will attack into the Kageki. Okay, so I'll take 100 here. Uh, end of battle to the top of my deck. Whoop. Goes the Laquari. And we'll go ahead and get a Bestiari. Big surprise here. Shocker. Uh, we'll trigger Bestiari targeting the gateway. Cleanup duty. Yep, gateway's gone. All right, back to you, buddy. Had to get as much value out of it as I could. I will draw. Stand by anything? Nothing. Okay, let's go to main phase one. Uh, I suppose I can try to keep pushing here, and I think that's what we're going to do. I will run out Kageki. Yep. I will activate Kageki. No response. Okay, I will bring out Yaichi. Oh, what is this? Yaichi is one of the OG six Sams, and uh, will use the effect with Pryo, as a matter of fact, targeting your set card. Well, use it or lose it. I'm gonna flip up Torrential. Fuck, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, so everything's gone. Yep. Uh, I do get to trigger the Grandmaster, which is pretty cool. You do. Uh, don't know what good it's really going to do me at this point. I guess Kizan seems pretty good, but so does Kaigeki. Uh, we'll go for the Kaigeki, I suppose. Sure. Uh, I will set one and throw it to you. All right. Stand by main. Juicy Torrential. Yep. Uh, we're going to go for Darius. Darius is fine. Combat. Darius in. Uh, how do Glads work with redeclares if you redeclare and i elect not to attack i don't get to trigger it uh yeah that's fine i'll take the 17 all right second main we'll uh we'll tag out sure god i wish that uh, uh you could play two copies of best yari yeah but you can't <laughs> it's limited it is Ugh, this is a hard one obviously hoplomus is really good laquari has a decent attack stat i wish i could get darius with darius that would literally just solve all my problems yep all right, yep. we're going to go for a cast here. Okay. And we are going to target uh, the Hoplomus. And this will add it to your hand. Yes. Okay, sure. Uh, I am going to set one, and you are good to go. Got a back row. All right, uh, anything in standby? No. Okay, main phase one. Uh, I, <laughs> I guess we will try this again. I'll bring out Kageki. <laughs> Three Kagekis in a row. Seems all right, yep. Yeah, well, I mean, one of them was returned but mm. it's fine uh i will not use the effect that's okay okay uh, i will special summon a grandmaster though i do have another one of these yeah that's pretty good and uh i guess i will attempt to go to battle phase sure i'm gonna go i'll take 500 here and then 17 from kageki uh-huh is that set card call of the haunted uh it is not call the haunted uh it is double-edged sword technique however that is enough yep Wow, okay, I didn't know if that was gonna go through or not. That was risky. All right, game one. Well, I guess I deserve this after the last episode. Uh, you could have played anything, <laughs> I buddy. Had to get my vengeance, buddy. I had to, and hey, for historical purposes, the deck is different now. There's not three mm. gateway anymore, oh, okay? Yeah. It just, I just happened to luck sack into the one that's in my deck. Who knew? Easy, easy. Well, shit, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Obviously, I want to be going second because uh, I get the battle phase, but I don't think oh. I can let you set up, so I, I will pick first. Okay, we'll see how it does for you. Good luck. Did not do what I wanted. Uh, okay, I mean, this part's pretty good. We're going to go Ooh, Ryo yeah, set two. Go ahead. 
Okay, uh, I'll see if it's good enough. I will draw. Ending standby. No, no. Okay, main phase one. Uh, fortunately, Upstart Goblin works under Ryo. It does. So I'll go ahead and draw. And I'll take my thousand. Um, the question is, what do we do after that? He's a big boy. I think I'll just set one and throw it over. Uh, shoot. Okay. Um, I'll draw for turn. All good. Stand by main. Uh, I'm gonna MST targeting the set card. It is Solemn Judgment. Okay, that is actually not even remotely important. Uh, I'll go to combat uh, Mermillo in and Ryo in. Take them both. All right, end of battle. I will trigger Mermillo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's just get a Laquari here. It's a beefy one. 21. All right, back to you. We'll draw. Uh, that's an improvement. I suppose. All right, I'm going to activate Six Samurai United. I should have saved the MST. Why am I blinding it when I have Bestiari in the deck? Uh, United's fine. All right, I will normal summon Kaigeki. There he is. I will get a counter on United. I will use the effect of Kaigeki. I drew Valor again. Perfect, fantastic. Uh, that was fun. Um, that might be it for me, buddy. I will pass the turn. Stand by main. I imagine it is because I have a cypher soldier. Oh, that actually I Take think is the end of the 21 game. 2150 yep. there. That's going to be 3150 to the face and the remainder is history. Okay. Well, right, that's we Thunder it. King Ryo, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just do that exactly one more time. <laughs> Fucking Thunder King Ryo. What's My your head, hand buddy? is just littered with Rhoda and smoke signal. Like, what could I do? There was no way to beat it. Hey. I guess I could have just, like, set Kaigeki, but I was just hoping to get some draws off the United and maybe get out of it. But god damn, fucking Kinetic Soldier 2 is just I, absolutely brutal. You know, there is a pretty easy out to Thunder King Ryo. Um, it's, uh, it's called Play a Better Deck. Uh, uh, fair. Get good, Thank you, buddy. maybe? Uh, would help. Oh, god, yeah. this hand is not... Ooh for you we'll see uh hopefully this one's a little bit better for me good luck i will draw i'm going to start with everyone's favorite one of gateway I just, of the six. i just love playing against you dude i just love playing against you I, yeah, yeah, yeah do you have the veiler for the third I'm, game in a oh, row you opened Kai, oh you opened kaigeki plus gateway no that's fine that's okay i have nothing no oh we're good oh it's even better because i actually got the kagamusha oh, cool. too so we have to be oh yeah this is gonna go really well i think <laughs> i think this is fine right uh so we're gonna see <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep going, buddy. I don't fucking care. Summon the whole All deck. Right. Yep. We'll get the she end. Yep. It's the buddy. It's fine. I don't have United. Oh, Calm down. Oh it could be worse. I could be drawing more cards here. <laughs> oh, it, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I Do we have Droll and Lockbird yet? Can, we do. Why Why were we not boarding this? I was going to say, don't we? I think it's out. It was Star Strike Blast, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use some counters here. I'm going to grab a keys on. Sure. Uh, I mean, do I just keep going? Is one Shein enough to just, like, stop you? I don't know. It's like I, I'm tempted to just keep going. Yeah, screw it. You know, let's just yeah, bring yeah, up the keys no, on. No, no, no. Let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep going. I'll remove four counters. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, search again. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's grab another keys oh, on. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. And then I'm just going to set one and pass. I'll in there. Go ahead. Oh, I appreciate it. Stand by You're me. You're welcome. Oh, the best card in my okay. deck? Fantastic. I'll normal best Yari. Shh. Um, you got a judgment, my best Yari? I'm in a bottom with your best Yari. <laughs> it's completely unnecessary. Uh, okay, we're going to set three cards, and you are good to go. You've got three cards, buddy. Yeah. Stand by? Uh-huh. Okay, main one. Yep. Uh, okay. They've got Torrential. Uh, don't really want to play into that. Got like stuff like Mirror Force as well. There's a few things to worry about. I'm just going to go to battle. Yep. I'm going to hit with for 18. Uh, 23, right? Uh, no, he's just 18. Just oh, no, because right, right, right. I need two six Sam's for him to get the boost. Uh, and then 25. Yep. Second main, I'll set another one, throw it over. Fucking no, dude. Oh, right on time, buddy. That's you're just right on time. Uh, go for it. Perfect. Fantastic. All right. I'll draw. Yep. Uh, we'll go to main one. I damn. All right. Well, let's do it. Bring out the Grandmaster. Yeah, all good. Ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting to get that far. Uh, let's go battle. Yep. Shien in. Oh, okay. It's a kinetic soldier. Oh, all right. That's a big boy. So he goes up to 3,800 and I take 13 from that. Okay. That was, I mean, we're, we're almost getting somewhere. I mean, he's a wall. He's pretty big. Uh, I will go to second main and now I have to figure out how the fuck I'm going to deal with that card. Bit of a problem. 
Uh, I should have two counters on this gateway, actually, because I summoned the Grandmaster. Uh, I will just set one and throw it over. Draw for turn. Stand by main. All good. You know, at some point, I will actually summon some gladiator beasts. You know, it's, it's coming. Why do you? Why would you want to, buddy? Kinetic soldier's doing all the work. All right, let's do it. Here he is. Gladiator beast, a cast. Uh, a cast is fine. All right. Yeah. Sure. The kinetic soldier. Uh, yep. Uh, combat. Uh, I'll attack yep. the grandmaster. Attacking the grandmaster. So he's buffed up. So I'm going to take what is this? Thirty-three fifty. 1350. Well, I take 1250 here if my math is right. Yep. And uh, I guess I'll use nothing because Grandmaster is to be destroyed by a card effect right. for that to work. Um, That's all I got, buddy. Okay. We'll draw. Yep. Ooh, that's interesting. Main one. Mm -hmm. Fucking Kinetic Soldier. That card is such a pain in the He's ass. He's kind of a jerk off, isn't he? <laughs> He's yeah. kind of a jerk off. I'm going to True Nade. Wow. That is really not good for me. Uh, wow. Why is this card legal? Yep. <laughs> sure. So this all goes back to hand. I lose the counters on the gateway, which sucks. Oh, darn. But, uh, it's going to clear the way for the only way I can kill the fucking kinetic soldier. <laughs> all right. Uh, everyone to the grave, I suppose. Everyone's gone. Uh, I'll run out gateway. I will normal keys on. I'll get some counters and I'll hit for 18. You got it, buddy. And second main, I'll set two and pass the turn. Stand by main. All good. Normal Ryo. Fuck! I have warning. All right. Uh, well, this was a fun game. Go ahead, buddy. Can I beat three back row? Uh, I don't know if I can, if I'm being honest. Uh, I will Rhoda. <laughs> yeah. Let's grab... I'm going to grab Kageki. Sure. Uh, I'm going to remove two counters from Gateway to buff my keys on. Sure. I'm going to hit for game. Mirror Force. Seven tools. Seven tools. Oh! Fuck! No! God damn any, it. All any right. Any gladiator beast. Any fucking gladiator beast off the top. Please. Go. What's the defense on keys on? 2K. Oh, you've got to be. Go ahead. All right, this is a close one. I'll draw. Oh God, that's not what we needed. Main one. Yep. I'll set. Go. Two mm. K. You said. Two K. Kizan's yep. got how much attack? Kizan. Kizan's eighteen. Well, how much normal without the effect? Oh wait, wait. You mean Kageki? Yeah, Kageki. Sorry. His normal attack is two hundred. That's a big fucking ass. All right, go ahead. I, <laughs> why is it so big? I don't understand why like this and like the frogs are just two K for no fucking reason. Go. <laughs> this is a miserable game. Okay. This is very tense. I finally found a uh, gladiator beast. Oh wait, hold up. Fuck. What's in my grave? Okay. Yeah. I found sure. a gladiator beast. So we're gonna normal Darius. Sure. Combat. Wow. Prison. No response to that. Okay. So he's gone. You're Go under ahead. the seven tools threshold, thankfully. Uh <sighs> shit. What do we do with that? Is that even good? Uh I don't think it is. Okay, I'm gonna set another one in pass. <laughs> Christ alive. Stand by me. <laughs> yep. Proving ground. Sure. He's getting there. Get Laquari. Seems pretty good. Uh, normal Laquari. It's fine. I'll hit the new one. D prison number two. Uh, God, this is catastrophic. I'm gonna solemn here. Wow. Yeah, that's fine. It is another Kaigeki. <laughs> I'll take two hundred. Two hundred. Fuck. He's almost dead. Uh. Ooh, how do we want it? You can tag out. Yes, I can. I mean, I'm gonna. Uh, of course you are. There's no way you're not going to. I think the question is, what do you get? You can't get Laquari. I can't even make Geyserus because I only have one bestiary. I'll be honest, buddy. I was not expecting this game three to be this intense. All right. Uh, I'm going to go grab a cast. Sure. A cast. Get a card back. So yeah, that seems pretty good. All right. Now time to fire the best fucking card in my deck. Gladiator Beast's Respite. Oh my God. You get to draw three. It's Mori of Green. This is, I can't believe people <laughs> played this. Stupid motherfuckers. This card is so bad. All right. Three glads, three glads, three glads. It wasn't zero glads. I'll tell you that. All right, go ahead. All right. Uh, one more back row. Shit. Uh, main one. Yep. <sighs> It's <laughs> not easy. I'll set and pass. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, stand by main. Oh, good. Uh, kinetic soldier. Fuck. Yep. That's a good one. Uh, we'll hit a keys on. 
Hideki down. I don't know what these cards' names are. All right, back to you. <laughs> Something good? Wow, wow, wow. I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. Stand by main. All good. This is a hard one. Uh, I'm going to flip summon Valor. Sure. Let's go into magical android here. Ooh, get some life back. Okay. I am going to... It's tricky. This, this could be so bad. This could be <laughs> miserable. Okay. Uh, I'm going to normal... I, do I go for it? You have two back row. There's no way that there's not more interaction there. Uh, I am going to normal Mermillo. Yeah, that's fine. Kinetic. Kinetic connects. Uh, Mermillo. Take the eight. Android. Oh! <laughs> oh! Holy shit! I'm so mad. I'm so, I, I am, fucking I lost agree. with turn one fucking Shein Gateway. Unbelievable. Thank you, Kinetic Soldier. Maybe Dark. Thank you, Kinetic Soldier. <laughs> maybe Dark holding my own Shein wasn't correct, but like there was no way I could have outed that fucking Kinetic Soldier and he was going to eat my board alive. So I don't know. Oh. That. Wow, unreal. It also sucks that Gateway doesn't give counters if the monsters are flip summoned. Up. It's only normal or special. So because of that, it was, and uh, Six Samurai United is the same way, actually. So there was no way for me to even, like, attempt to, like, start getting some cards because they were just set there. And, like, I had to wall up. Otherwise, I was just going to die. I just couldn't get into a monster. That was God. What a wow, what a set. <laughs> Oh well, wow. uh, I like that game three because we got to see kind of what both of our decks are uh, capable of. Uh, I will say, yeah. if you had gone, I, I can't believe I spooked you uh, from that game two. If you had gone just a little more aggro game two, I don't think I would have been able to deal with it. Uh, my only play was I had Mirror Force plus a uh, War Chariot. So I needed you to commit to like five guys all in attack position and then mm -hmm. not add with the Grandmaster to kill me. <laughs> There's, there, <laughs> there were pretty, the lines were pretty few and far between, but um, wow. Wow, Kinetic Soldier really simplifies your entire game plan. You just play that motherfucker and you pass. Oh, and shit. there's just like no native removal in the six Sam deck to like take care of this, yeah. right? Because there's nothing in the spell department that kills it. You can't buff any six Sam to make it greater to hit this. The way that you deal with Kinetic Soldier is that you need to like Kagemusha tune into something that like isn't a warrior that can hit over mm -hmm. it. Or if I had my dimensional prisons a little bit earlier, or maybe like a warning or a judgment, I can stop it right there. Right. Uh, Hand of the Six Samurai is another card I could have possibly gotten, but that would have required another monster if i had any of my searchers i could have done that you had chariot so that wouldn't have even mattered at that point when you got the quests established that was good i mean i agree with you i think game three really got to just show off like the best of both decks and uh you got to see just like the full octane situation and then like the grind game situation well played buddy uh not the thunder king you know wreck me game yeah, too well played but well played. Uh, yeah um no <laughs> no uh, i think you're i think you're spot on uh decks like um Gladiator Beast are playing native removal as well, but it's like smashing ground main, right? Um, all of your right. removal is either monster effects like Brianak, which you can make off of, like you alluded to, the Kizan plus the Kageki, which is endlessly searchable if you have the gateway set up, or, or um, a, a Hand of the Six Samurai, but both of those are monster effects, and this deck is on three copies of Gladiator Beast War Chariot specifically for yeah. that. It's like, yeah, like, you're going to be able to absolutely hose people who are spending their turn one going into... Um, uh, Shien uh, spend their removal turns going into Hand of the Six Samurai. Of course, the entire field is pretty weak to uh, War Chariot, but um, in terms of the Gladiator Beast deck, uh, we don't see much of it after this one. Um, the uh, coverage at uh, Anaheim was very specific in that, yeah, 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 like Gladiator Beast has always been around, but a YCS Charlotte people just stopped winning with it. It just, like, could not keep up with the modern metagame. And so you saw it at Anaheim, and this is the last tournament I think it had, like, really mainstream success, transform into this insane, like, stun deck that's on, like, all this back row and Thunder yeah. King's main. Uh, and, like, honestly, it's decent. The idea is the Gladiator Beasts are a really good advantage engine. It's, like, all the way in on a Kests and stuff. Uh, you don't really care if you can't access Geyserus because any spell trap that you would be destroying will uh, trade for your on-field Gladiator Beasts anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, this is what it had to do to keep up with the threats in the modern metagame. And after this episode, it pretty much stops being able to do that. And I just think that this is a great way to just kind of move into the Tengu plant format. I think we've gotten to see uh, a 
old deck that a lot of actually no no wait we have two decks that are probably like two of the most fan favorite archetypes like in Yu-Gi-Oh's history yep. between Glads and Six Sam like both of these even not in their most competitive form these were decks you would just see around around the playground left and right right I mean these were played at lunch tables across the world or across the world <laughs> around the world and I just think it's cool that we kind of got to do this little uh just clash of the titans if you will because both of these decks are just all stars in their own right and this was this was just a lot of fun mm -hmm. I had uh, a great time uh, with a send off to these. Oh, decks. I bet you fucking won. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time because I'm the winner. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the History of Yu-Gi-Oh! We have to shout out the patrons as always. So big shouts to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim 0 x 3 Aka Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Starkey, and Musa, Dan the Man Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wild, Stray, Conic, Useful Fast, and 05, Cole T, Rockside, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Elson, Jordan Coons, Kale Van, Iron Bladesman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerd Gaza, Brother Paul, Chris Ode, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Rockley325, Chat God, Silent Agent 216, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John 2 Base, Brody Eastwood, Day Zero, Elias Panero, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Rider, Give Me Death, Ashlyn Jensen, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Hots for Gage, Matthew Brady, Dr. Solace, Max, Tom Russell, Gage, just play Watts already, Eric Grams, Wayan, and Talk Dirty to Me, MBT. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.